Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing pharmacology of ethanol, commonly known as alcohol, beer, wine, liquor, spirits. Um, currently, well about a year, or it was a few months ago, I think maybe a month ago, I distilled some whiskey and this is probably about 150 mils worth of whiskey that I distilled. It comes from Canadian Club. So that's just showing you sort of what it's like in its pure state. It's just very um, light and evaporates very quickly and colourless. I think my sample is about 98%. Okay, so enough with that. Enough chit chat. Um, ethanol, it Basically, it binds to all of, it binds to acetylcholine, it binds to serotonin, which affects mood levels, it binds to NMDA or N-methyl-D aspartic acid, and it binds to GABA, also known as gamma aminobutyric acid. So they're the neurotransmitters that alcohol binds to, there's also two more. Here is here, it increase, um, ethanol increases dopamine and ethanol also increases noradrenaline. Um, also, it does produce an endorphin, as shown here. This is beta endorphin. It's a very long molecule. Obviously, I didn't draw it, I just, um, went on to Wikipedia and print, printed it out and just pasted it on because it's too big for me to draw um, hopefully someday soon I've just recently ordered a um, molecular models kit so in future videos I'll be able to show you when I'm making I'll be able to show you the alcohol molecule and all the other ones that I've done recently and maybe some neurotransmitters be able to make all the neurotransmitters that I featured in my videos. Um, this is, I think, my fifth video, which is on alcohol. I might be making another one soon on, if you can see here, I painted a, a molecule of mescaline. So I might do it on mescaline. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next video which will be on the pharmacology of mescaline please subscribe rate and comment and watch my other videos thank you